this is Creepy Nights or Flame Pelt, and today I'll be teaching you uh, how I personally um, draw my art style. Um, I always start off with the nose, and then I go on to the bridge of the nose, uh, eyes, um, then I do the eyebrows, mouth, um, then I finished off the eyes, and whatnot. And you'll see that in this video, I will be pausing the video at certain points. Well, not pausing, but slowing them down to tell you what I am doing. This is just how I'm sketching and what I basically do. It is very easy. My art style is very easy to do. It is not very complicated in any way. Um, it is very basic, but if you ever want to interpret your art style into my, I work around the nose. That's basically it. I work around the nose. Uh, that's pretty much how it is. Also, when I do side view, it is <clears throat> um, always just kind of the muzzle starting off or the bend of the nose that I do, of the muzzle, bend of the muzzle, is how I usually do um, side view. I do not have a demonstration of that in this video, but if you're interested in learning about that. In other videos, I am more than willing to um, record and do that for you. <laughs> I'm very awkward right now because I don't know how to script and it's... yeah. <laughs> but, um... <clears throat> yes, um, a lot of this video is going to be sped up, so you don't have to listen to me talk because I don't like listening to my voice and I don't know how I really sound, and yeah, um, right now what I'm doing is just making the fuzziness and doing my whisker, uh, like, things that I, you see me do a lot because, yeah, um, here I am going to my line art to be red, and that is because it is easier for me to draw when it is red because it just makes a whole difference when it's red. And I am showing you what I'm doing. I took a pen brush and I made it into a watercolor because it makes it a lot smoother and it the size variation is a lot better. And yeah, it's, it's practically just a really good way to do it. we're coming up to the end of the, um, me doing the line art. Now here I'm going to switch to a blue and fill in the lines on a different layer which you can do on Fire Alpaca. Um, I do this because it is easier to get um, things, uh, fill things in and all that. It is easier to get the white spots that it doesn't fill in and it makes the job a lot <laughs> easier and what you can do afterwards is click um, protect alpha and after you do protect protect alpha you can um, just take whatever brush you're using and color it over without having to um, 
redo this whole process again and you're just kind of like swiping over just with a new uh, color which is fantastic in my opinion and it makes things a lot easier with fire alpaca in many ways and it's such a great thing to do if there's a hassle now it's being demonstrated right here and as you can see it will be oh no this is for the line art and i'm going to make the line art black with using protect alpha and this is demonstrated right now and that's practically it it's just kind of like sweeping and and that's i'm going to do the same thing right now for um the color layer. I was originally going to make this a cream colored cat, but I decided to make it flame pelt. Even though the bangs aren't the same I usually do for flame pelt, but you know, whatever. It. I decided last minute to just make it flame pelt because I didn't feel like doing a cream colored cat. Anywho, um, yeah, that's all I have to say so far for this part, and the rest will be sped through. to recolor my art, line art to um, match my character. I already did the eyes and that is pretty much it. I am just going to make it match the character so it is easier and it looks a lot better in many ways, especially since this is going to be more of a uh, P PNG image where the background will be, um, there'll be no background. It will just be white and it'll just you know, just flame pelts in it, and, and it'll just look better in general, just doing the line art like that. Here I'm going to start um, my shading, and my shading is just pretty practical. I usually go to a pink because it's a dark pink, pink, whatever, um, whatever I prefer at the time. I will be sticking to the eyes with a dark pink. Later on, I will be changing, changing the rest of the body to a lighter pink because it will suit the pelt color a lot better. And the reason why the eyes are seeing a darker pink is because um, they're darker color and it will suit her eyes a lot more. one of my other drawings I have not published on um, any other thing yet um, in getting my current watermark that I use for my new pictures because it's easier at first I was going to have it cover, cover her whole face and then I realized that I did not want that so it will just become in the small corner of her fur because it looked way better that is pretty much it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed and got something out of this video, and bye!